Hello, good day viewers. Welcome back once again. Today we have another interesting transdental equation and here we'll be solving for the value of x. Now let's get started. We have here 5 to the power of x plus 11x. This is equal to 11. Whenever we see this kind of equation, all we need to recall is the Lambert double function, right? Now let's go ahead and solve this problem. From here, let's move this positive 11x to the right. So if you move this to the right, it will become negative, right? So we have here 5 to the power of x. This is equal to 11 minus 11x. Now let's make the left hand side of this equation to be the right hand side and the right hand side to be the left hand side right so moving this to this side so here from here we have 11 minus 11 x this will be equal to 5 to the power of x we see that no sign change right okay now from here 11 is common so let's factor it out so we have 11 into bracket this will be 1 minus x then this is equal to 5 to the power of x. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 11 times 5 to the power of x. So here we have 11 into bracket 1 minus x. We are going to divide by 11 times 5 to the power of x. This will be equal to 5 to the power of x. We are dividing by 11 times 5 to the power of x. So we can see we have some nice cancellations here. This cancels this. This cancels this, right? Okay, now let's take note of this. When we have 1 over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of negative n. So here, this is 1 minus x. Remember, 1 over 5 to the power of x, same as 5 to the power of negative x. This will be equal to 1 all over 11. Now, in our next step, we need to make the power of 5 here to be equal with the coefficient. So what do we do? Let us take note of this, that a raised power of m multiplied by a raised power of n, since they have the same base, we're going to sum the powers, right? So this will be m plus n. So for us to make this power of 5 here exactly equal to this, we need to multiply both sides by by something and that thing must have a base 5 right so now what should be the power of that so the power of that let us check this number right over here that is 1 so the power of it should be 1 meaning 5 to the power of 1 it should be multiplied to both sides so we have here 1 minus x times 5 to the power of negative x times 5 to the power of 1 this will be equal to 5 to the power of 1 multiplied by 1 over 11. So add this power, negative x plus 1 is same as 1 minus x. So here we have 1 minus x times 5 to the power of 1 minus x. This will be equal to 5 divided by 11. So now let us take note of this. A is same as e to the power of ln of a. If a has a power of b, this will be e to the power of b ln of a. So here... This is 1 minus x e to the power of 1 minus x, the ln of the base, which is 5. This is equal to 5 divided by 11. Now, are we going to make use of the lambda w function? Let us see. Remember, the, the lambda w function we follow in following argument, x times e to the power of x simplifies to exactly equal to x, right? So if you take a look at this here, this argument here, you will see that the power of e here is equal with the coefficient. But right over here, the power of e and the coefficient are not yet equal. The only difference is that we have ln of 5, but we don't have ln of 5 here. So the idea is to multiply both sides by the ln of 5. So 1 minus x times the ln of 5, then times e to the power of 1 minus x times the ln of 5. This will be equal to... 5 over 11 times the ln of 5. So from here, let us make use of the Lambert function on both sides. So here, using this property, so this simplifies to just 1 minus x times the ln of 5. This will be equal to the Lambert of function 5 divided by 11 times the ln of 5. 
So from here, divide both sides by ln of 5. So this cancels this. So we have 1 minus x. This is equal to the w of 5 over 11 times the ln of 5 divided by the ln of 5. So if 1 minus x is equal to this, therefore x is also equal to 1 minus this here. W of 5 over 11 times the ln of 5 divided by the ln of 5. So when I make use of my calculator, I find a very nice approximation for x. Now x is approximately equal to 0 0.713410. Six eight nine five one. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to my channel. Also, like, comment, and share. Bye bye.